Next question I have is, how can I help my daughter have a more positive self-image? She is only eight, but when asked, has trouble saying positive things about her appearance. Okay, this is such a great question. And, you know, sadly, it starts around this age, this eight to 10, where girls in particular start to become aware of our culture's standards, uh, you know, for beauty or success. Um, and we see it starts to uh, affect, you know, the way they're looking, uh, the way they're thinking about themselves. Um, so first of all, we want to focus, we want to make sure that we catch ourselves and we focus less on appearance because we have a cultural bias, even if we're aware of it, um, to talk to girls about, you know, being beautiful. You're so beautiful. Or, you know, you're so sweet. You're so beautiful. Right. And we speak to boys differently. So we really want to make sure that with our young daughters that we are talking about all their qualities. So I often catch myself wanting to say to my daughter, I have a nine-year-old daughter, um, you know, because, you know, you look so cute because sometimes she just looks so cute. But I always say to her, like, you look so healthy and strong, you know, and beautiful. So mm -hmm. I really make sure that I'm emphasizing, you know, the strength of the body, the flexibility of the body, um, you know, you know, you're so strong. You were just like, you know, walking on your hands and arms and the way you just flipped, you know, you're so flexible, right? So emphasizing those things, but also on abilities, uh, putting the emphasis on abilities. So I love how creative you are. Like you just came up with a great solution. Um, I love how you were helping your sister. You're just a great big sister. You know, she can count on you. Um, you know, you're helpful around the house. Uh, do you think you can set the table? This is so great. Or, you know, things that they achieve at school or in sports or in their other activities. So really putting the emphasis on their abilities and on their achievements and less on their appearance. Um, you know, in terms of, of the appearance and body image, um, we have to really make sure that we're modeling ourselves, right? So as moms and, and dads, are we looking in the mirror and saying like, oh, I look so gross today. Like, or look, my stomach's showing, you know? Uh, look how big my thighs have gotten. We have to really watch the language we're using and what we're teaching our children, our daughters, because they will absolutely mimic, you know, what we do. Mm -hmm. So that's something to think about, you know, if you're noticing uh, that your daughter is having a little trouble saying positive things, um, you know, but then I would point it out, you know, and not make a big deal of it, but like, you know, point it out, like, it's really, um, you know, it's really important to say great positive things about yourself. You know, we never want to say negative things about ourselves. So you could do a little activity, like take a sticky notepad. Um, and let's write down three things we love about each person in the house, including yourself, right? So you write about what I love about, you know, sister, brother, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, um, and myself. And then you could put those stickies on the fridge or in on the mirror in the bathroom. Um, so you can start to teach this concept of self, positive self-talk, which is a skill. You know, the human mind has something called a negativity bias. The human mind tends to focus on the negative. It has to do with survival, right? We have to, we have to remember the bad things that cause issues in our lives so we could avoid them. But in our modern culture, we don't really need that negativity bias, but it's still there. So we have to teach our kids to, you know, develop the skill of you know, catching the positive, focusing on the positive. So we could write on a sticky note. Um, I love myself exactly the way I am. You know, I am strong and beautiful. And, you know, put these kinds of notes ar around our ho houses and, um, you know, start to create a culture of positivity within our homes. And then again, if you were present for the social media program, make sure that young kids and girls in particular are not on social media, that they don't have access to social media. Um, I prefer that they're off, you know, until 13 plus, um, but for sure keep them off as long as you can and definitely not in elementary school.